today's game, USA versus Sweden. USA is in white with a red and blue trim. Sweden is in yellow. Our match referee, Lena Letobada. Underway from Sweden. Friends Arena is the place. They have a retractable roof, and it is open. Weather is good enough that they could open it up. Williams quickly on the move on the right. Williams from the North Carolina Courage getting inside the box. Erickson trying to deal with her. Lavelle loves the left foot. Shot taken. Fingertip save by Falk. That's the first test for either goalkeeper. You've got to credit Lynn Williams. First, she drives Erickson really deep on that end line. Now Sager has to provide cover in case she cuts inside. That provides space for Rose Lavelle to get her head up, get on the half turn, and try to rifle that one far post. Really good look at it. Aslani. Towards the middle, and there came out, and it's the first goal. Sweden is on the board. Hartig. Big goal for Sweden. Shutout streak over for Nair, and the U.S. trails for the first time in a long time. And both Gerhardsen and Eriksson told us yesterday one of the qualities of Lena Hertig is her ability in the air, and you see it there. She just rises above. First of all, she has incredible height just to begin with, and then excellent timing and release on her jump. Connects with the ball and just flicks that one far post. Sliding with the assist in the 38th minute. Such a good finish, JP. Press. Drives it. And then wide for Mertz. Horan. That was a dangerous ball back. It was picked off. Inside. Jakobsen shot in there. Big save. Aslani misses it. That could have been a 2-0 lead. Could have, should have been. Sloppy giveaway by Lindsay Horan. Rolfo reads it, just picks the pocket there of Davidson as she comes sliding in. And now Rolfo does so well to cut off the recovery run of Davidson, so she's 1v1 against Nair, and Nair comes up big time with that. It's an O'Hara throw in. Kelly, a veteran of three World Cups, couple of Olympics. Laval. Horan leaving it for Rose. And that's wide of Falk. Anderson. Sweden going forward again. They're not sitting back and trying to protect the one goal lead. Nice ball into space. Near off the line. Net is empty for Jakobsen. She'll play it across. Missed one. And a second Swedish player. They'll push it back to Aslani. Sweden could have taken a 2 0 lead there. That was on them. That net was empty How and inviting. They did not score. I do not know. The U.S. can breathe a sigh of relief. And a space for Horan. Lindsay sending it in for Lloyd, and it's wide at Falk. There was Carly's chance, the one chance. Corner for Press. Putting it towards the middle. It falls. Quick shot through traffic, but a good look at it by Falk. So that's the first change made by either side. And it's before we hit the hour mark. Oh, someone wide open on that left side. The newcomer to the game anyway, Rapino, on the left, working it. Went near post. That was a good effort. Of course she did. <laughs> Rapino, different approach that time. Horan in the air. It comes outside the box. Now O'Hara brings it in. It's contact. Okay. Is she calling for a penalty? She just pointed to the penalty spot. They can't clear the first ball. Kelly O'Hara takes a nice touch to get into that 18-yard box. No VAR in these friendlies. In the 87th minute, Megan Rapino with 57 career international goals. The game-tying goal up to her. Rapino stepping up, and she scores 1-1. In the clutch, Megan Rapino, like it's routine. It had to be, right? So cool, so calm. Falk guesses right. But in the end, too much power, too much precision for Megan Rapino.
Rapino. In the final minute of stoppage time, Morgan cutting it back. Christy Mewis. A slightly better ball, and she would have had a decent attempt at goal. This last kick may be it for Jennifer Falk. Almost beat the U.S. today. Won't do it, but does get a 1-1 result from it. So, it was a 1-1 final today between Sweden and the United States.